hit him with that yesterday. We saw that. We were watching episode one, and we are like, Tucker's like, who did the shout out? I'm like, I have no idea. I wish I would have noticed that. That shit was funny. I wish I would have noticed it. That shit was funny. Justin, if you're around, let's see if we can get Justin in here. I'm not going to pull my nephew, and he's not here today, and I, I don't feel like dealing with it. So he's going to fall a little bit behind. I see both Ashton and Justin are on, so... Cheers, bro. Pleasure to be here with an old friend. Well, thanks, little. Thanks. I like your new Twitch name. Keep it, dude. Don't change that Twitch name. Lunar. It's a good name. Good name. Don't change it. You've gone through too many name changes, Drew. You've got a good one now. I'm gonna have to accept- Oh, dude, I'm gonna redo my guy, too. Before we really dig deep, because I've got him going down some crazy trees, and... We don't need that in our life. Hey, there we go. We got the fellas. We got the fellas to start it. Alright, that's a good omen. Strong important. Build that brand name. <laughs> as soon as we get the connect, sometimes it takes a minute. What's the fast travel? I need to rebuild. Oh, the rebuild and the fast travel are the same thing. We may have to do one of your parties, Ashton. We may have to join on you. I don't know why it's being a pain. I crushed Apex. Got four wins. Three in a row. Three in a row, man. That's super impressive. That's super impressive, Derek. Nice job. Adam says, I checked out Rage 2 gameplay. It looks so much like Shadow Warrior 2 and Doom Reboot gameplay-wise. And you're still going to be getting Rage 2, right? Two women come in. Ashton, I think we may have to join on you if you want to start the party. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we'll keep it this time. I love my new name. Good, it's a good name. It's a good name, Drew. So you're still getting Rage 2, Adam? Hello, Justin. Hello, Ashton. Boy, howdy. Hey, howdy. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. We're all together, and the day is young. Let's beat this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna reperk the. Let's try that arena first thing. Let's let's see if we can do it now that we're fresh. I don't want it to stop us. I think we can do it. I'm gonna get rid of those days. Keep the explosive damage. Revenge is one of the best kill skills in the entire game, and Juggernaut is one of the best kill skills in the entire game. And then a point into Master Blaster. Von Helga, can we get some Nexus Cat hype up in the chat for this man? Seven months, seven months, he says. Seven M O N T H S. Oh, she failed. B I E T H. Seven M O N T H S. Yo, thank you, Justin, for that Nexus Cat hype. Von Helga, you've continued to fight the war. You've continued to fight the resistance, and you've become. Stage seven more human than a human. Thank you very much for that, Von Helga. I'm thankful and I'm grateful, man. Super nice of you. Good work. Derek for real five. Thank you for the Nexus cat hype. Von Helga says, oh yes. Oh yes. Congrats, man. Thanks again. Seven months. You're nearing that one year badge, dude. Alright, let's uh let's go try this arena again. This should be the day we got Justin and Ashton in here, so this should be the day we beat it. And if you want to see what we've been up to up to this point, they're all on the YouTubes, documented, for better and for worse. Good start there. Nice, so much elemental damage. <laughs> oh, nice hat, Ashton, looks good on you. What is that, made out of macaroni? Yes, sir. <laughs> Arts! Crafts! Made it for Mother's Day. <laughs> we got the OG Lilith on Justin. The disparity between the two of you could not be any more extreme. Macaroni hat Lilith and OG Lilith. Many more months to come. Well, thank you, Bum. 
Looking forward to it, dude. Drew says, when are you getting on Apex or are you not tonight? I will not be tonight. Uh, I won't until Tyrell has another full day to play together. I'm probably going to 100% Borderlands, dude. It's Borderlands time. And right now we got the momentum on Classic, so I'm going to keep pumping. Team melee damage. Interesting, but use pretty much useless. I mean, Lilith does have a melee tree, right? Yep. Is it very strong? Uh, yes, it's strong, but... I mean, I could... Eh, there'll be more. There'll be more. See you, Justin! So, did you end up waking up at 5 in the morning, Justin, or did you sleep in? No, I slept in, actually. Okay, good. So, eight. Oh, yes. Slept in. <laughs> yep. Okay, if you're playing Borderlands 2, I'd ask you to play, but I don't have Borderlands 1. And no worries, Drew, you have to get involved. We'll be, we'll be moving to Borderlands 2. We'll probably do 100% this game, and then I'll probably play Max Out Season 1, Anthem in between. I got, it's, it, the plan is Anthem, Division 2 sparingly, but still. Certainly Anthem. Borderlands 1, 2, pre sequel. Tales from the Borderlands. Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough, all the way. Fallout New Vegas playthrough, all the way. That's probably all we have time for. In August, if we're still moving along and doing all right, I'd like to make a little time for 76. I want to do one last revisit to it. We find a little extra time, maybe another State of Decay run. I would like to finish that up because we're so close on having pretty comprehensive content on State of Decay too. We've covered almost everything. There's some video ideas I definitely have. We'll see if we have the time though. Borderlands priority, Anthem's second most priority. Get New Vegas in and Red Dead Redemption 2 over the summer. And then Borderlands 3 time. Plenty to do. Plenty, plenty to do. Especially with full playthroughs. Are you bringing a nephew? What's that, Ashton? You bringing a nephew? Uh, nah. He could just stay. He's not in, right? He's not home. Or, uh, it's just his home. People are gonna think I'm creepy. First, I said yesterday, like you don't know till you have had kids, and I've never had kids, and this isn't his home. He's not here. He'll probably be here later. And if he's actually in the mood for Borderlands, then yeah, let's bring him in. But I think that last night when we were doing the arena, Ashton, one of the struggles that we had is it's balanced for four people, and we only had three guns. But if you guys want him in, I can bring him in. Yeah, I'm getting Anthem very soon. Nice, Lunar. Hey, man, it's good. You were probably smart to wait, but uh, honestly, it's underappreciated. A lot of improvement. Oh, I, by the way, I figured out how to do something. Might help us. But that improvement's going to come, because now the Austin Studio's in charge. And from what we've been able to learn from that article, the Austin Studio did Knights of the Old Republic, the MMO, which actually became really good later in its life, so... If you guys look at your skills, and then you go to the left where your elemental is, and then you press A on it, your artifacts haven't been disappearing. They're still in there. Oh. oh yeah. See, I had no idea, Ash. I just kept thinking they kept disappearing. So you can switch them, then? Yes. Austin Studio is now in charge. Yeah. So Bioware, Edmonton, and Austin tag teamed Anthem, which led to some of the problems that we learned from the Kotaku article because Edmonton actually did look at Austin as the B team and didn't trust it and wouldn't let him make any decisions. Um, and But now Austin's. Com and that's why the game ended up coming across as like two games in one. Edmonton wanted to go down the traditional route, story driven box game. And because they were doing live service, Austin wanted to go down the MMO Knights of the Old Republic route. Edmonton wouldn't listen to Austin. 
which is just one of the many issues they ran into. But now Austin's totally in charge, and I guess... And this is from the article that was only talking really about the bad. The Austin studio is very, very motivated to fix Anthem. They think they can do a great job with it. If they're given the time. And they've got the experience. Even Angry Joe, he did a pretty good coverage on that article. Uh, was talking about how like he really likes the Austin studio and he's gotten to be able to go over there and visit a few times and they really know what they're doing and they've owned up to their mistakes in the past and corrected them and they're... So that's... Anthem is currently actually in good hands. But, you know, they're going to continue to wrestle with the fact that they're on the Frostbite engine and... A lot of the stuff they are doing is not a true fix, but more of a workaround. It'll get there, though. It'll get there. When is the next Anthem update, anyway? That's a good question. They've been kind of silent recently because of the drama, and I don't blame them. Wait, wait. Uh, well, good. I will give them a chance. Yeah, this should be good. This should be good. If you're uh, Lunar, I'm going to see The land's at the border. I'm taking control, says Von Helger. How was your stream last night, Von Helger, of uh, Oblivion? Damn, I should be in some cover. Thanks. Fire knocking those crits off is frustrating. Well, uh, another wave of them. We got through the badasses though. I'm right in the middle of the shit. Fucking midget would stand still. Ooh, got him. I'm barely. Thank you. One more badass over here. Oh, never mind. Whole another wave of them. That ain't good. I'm bleeding pretty quick. I'm bleeding pretty quick. Fuck. Last night's stream was epic. <coughs> I can get VIP peeps in my channel now, and I am one good stream like that away from affiliate. Good, GG, man. Oh, good. Nice job, dude. Excited for you to get your affiliate. Always feels good. Looks like you guys won. Really? That's weird, you guys like we're still up. One person dies, it just wipes it maybe. Oh that sucks. Well, I'm gonna rebuy ammo. That's why you need a mercenary mod, just respawn on your ammo. <laughs> It's almost worth throwing the nephew in just for stuff like that, like team ammo regen and that bonus XP. Hey, just changing my Berserker mod alone is gonna help. That's shocking, level 3. Man. If they go explosive, it'd be right. Level 2, but it'd be fine, stream. This thing's pretty good, but let's go with fire, because we're killing humans, so let's, we're dealing with a lot of flesh. Just making sure my shit's reloaded. Okay. I've never seen anything like this. So we get these two badasses from the sides to begin. We did a good job focusing. 
Then we get a wave of trash, and then we get one more wave of badasses. Of course, the fucking one behind us gets a goddamn rocket. Charging in on his ass. He's priority with that rocket launcher. Nice job. You guys already killed the other one? There wasn't just one. Oh, that's weird. I get the bug. Huh. What the fuck is going on? Because, uh, these bandits from last round are still in here. Ran to my, ran to my booty. Yeah, it's definitely bugged. The music's playing. <laughs> the gate is locked. <laughs> Probably gonna have to save and quit and reinvite you guys. Looking that way. Alright, I'm gonna reinvite. This game is mostly been bug free. It's just some stuff like that, which apparently they're gonna patch. It could be a lot worse. Like, that could be every quest in the game. Me too, it took a year, but I'm finally getting the hang of streaming. Well, a foot more like. A foot more like. What do you mean by Hilger? But Hilger. We've made a pretty good quick run through this game, though, honestly. We have a beat today. In three days, we beat... We beat it, and we got halfway to the level cap. And it's a pretty freaking long game, so... I need to also, tonight, make sure I load up 2 and pre-sequel on my nephew's Xbox, and... We can spam his keys. A foot of streaming rather than a hang. I don't know how that would ever make sense, but I already said it, so I'm sticking with it. A foot of streaming rather than a hang. As in, you stream longer? What's the... What's the unit of measurement here? Measuring in bushels? Are we measuring in rows? Measuring in bundles? I just... Are you saying you stream longer? Or, like, you're saying how much progress you feel like you've made as a streamer. But yeah, stick with it, man. Gotta relearn the chest loop in this area. Especially if we're gonna be doing all of them playthroughs. I'm not sure. I'm confused myself at this point. Progress! Progress! That's the main thing. Progress. I like it. <laughs> No. Oh. Well, it seems like the loot pool for the weapons out of the chest are very small. Is it yet another stinger? Uh, it's uh, two combustion snipers. Yeah. Maybe we just need to level, but definitely. Especially the lack of E tech from Borderlands 2, which added a ton of variety. But if we make some more progress, we're almost at some really good chest spawning parts. I mean, we do the Nox DLC, obviously we can farm the armory all to hell. And we beat the Destroyer. The Destroyer now has a big actual loot. actual loot, yeah. And they do a chest spawn for him too, so we can farm that. That's what it was. Good. GG, says Derek. <laughs> It shouldn't be I like the destroyer for the first time, and I was like, "This is it." <laughs> the universal reaction. We've got to. I don't think Justin's beat it, so we can't spoil it too much. But more than we already have. <laughs> yes, the vault. Anyways, tons of loot in the vault. Can't wait to get to the vault. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big driving point for them. They're like, yeah, and we updated it, so don't yell us anymore.
Rips. So, Ashton, what is this drama I hear about King Richard? Because it sounds pretty stupid. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what is it. Some, that memeology guy made a video saying that King Richard scammed an artist and, like, didn't pay him. And now King Richard's going to not stream for a while and, like, is in a ton of trouble and all this crazy shit. And it seems... I have no idea. Let me hop on the Twitter if I can get check his name. Alright. I mean, I want to take King Richard's side. I don't... I hate that those videos are edited out of context and everything else, but I guess... He con the, the gist of the story is he contracted an artist. The artist did the stuff out of, like, Italy or something. And... Then King Richard used the stuff, but never paid him for the stuff. So the artist makes a YouTube video saying King Richard didn't pay him and scammed him and shit, and then the rest is history. The internet took over from there. Rather than a streamer, for a moment there, I was like, what? Yes, not the English King Richard. Streamer King Richard. <laughs> But the video was being a dick, because, like, Richard was actually in tears. And it was like, oh, here's another streamer being a dickhead. Work job so hard, play games all day. You know, streamer. Streamers have many, many enemies. Yep, especially when your uh, job relies on your reputation. So when you like, hey, pay me again. No. Well, I'm saying you stole my shit. Yep. Oh, okay. Just to fame their character. It's easy from an art chair to harass and criticize, and you don't know it till you've walked a mile in their shoe. I mean, my nephew knows that experience a little bit better now. I've been trying to put him on here because he's all the time talking about this, and he he notices when he plays this game by himself and he just chills out all day. It doesn't exert you know any energy, but when he gets to play with me, he's tired within a couple hours. Which isn't to say it's you know like we were out on the freaking you know pipelines doing mad work, but you don't know the experience of streaming until you've done it. But the YouTube comments were full of that, like, oh yeah, King Richard, just another baby, playing games all day, getting the wine. Oh, and what's your opinion on that topic, Ashton? On, uh, how easy it is to deliver people that use their face and uh, personality for... For business? Yeah. It's pretty fucked. <laughs> My feeling was like, if this guy's crying, he's being completely in earnest. Because, you know, men don't cry that easy. Even if you're sensitive. So, that's when I felt like, why are you attacking this guy? Why don't you just fuck him? Why don't you make your own content instead of making content that just harasses and attacks people? Aren't you talking? No. Okay, and what's your opinion on the topic, Justin? On um, what? For the future? Yeah. I have no idea. I... <laughs> well, how about that? It doesn't really affect me at all, so. Well, not so much the Twitch drama, because uh, I don't like to go there either, but like the memeology videos. They're, they're videos just dedicated to being like, look at this son of a bitch, isn't this. It's sort of like voyeurism. Isn't your life better than this well, poor bastard playing on Twitch? If a guy had just spent, like, hundreds of hours making a bunch of stuff and didn't get paid for it, I'd be a little pissed too. I'd probably throw a video up. on him out on it. I don't have any opinion on the topic of the artist and King Richard, because I have no idea what the truth is, and I always believe in presumption of innocence, and... It's easy to slander somebody, and the kangaroo court of the internet is not at all objective. The, the truths of the case will come out. <laughs> But on the topic of like, oh, the meme. he did come out and say like, I don't have time for this shit when he when 
the artist was trying to talk to him about getting paid. That artist <laughs> a just ad-libbed the quote, though. He did. He blurred the text and just created a quote with a meme. So I just don't, you know, it just wouldn't stand. Okay. So, and then the internet sums all. Oh, okay, that's that's what he said. Then this is just a meme and. Again, I don't care about the King Richard drama. I just care about the... My feeling is like... Is it right that one YouTube producer is able to make a bunch of money off of other people's misery? Just for the sake of TOS, I don't have an opinion. And then, you know, I also just don't really... This, again, doesn't have any influence on my life. Do you think that... Do you have any scruples with a system like that? Like, okay, King Richard's involved in some drama. But you can monetize that drama. Yeah, well, it's kind of bullshit, but <laughs> the way the world is at the same time. <laughs> it's not like YouTube's the only thing that does that. Well then, I guess I'll just make my own personal stand against it. I just don't feel like it's ethical. I think that there's even even grounds for a lawsuit there, like libel, libel. I mean, and even King Richard maybe could even do libel, even if he's in the wrong. Just because he's the internet mob is forever, and once that artist says all oh, all King Richard did was just say, "Oh, I don't have time for this," without a direct quote, that's the assumption now. Now, he should, if he didn't pay, he definitely should have paid, because he's making plenty of money on Twitch, because he's the top eight, one of the top Apex streamers. The tournaments that he won alone paid him, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, and if it was only a thousand dollars to contract that artist, that was, you know, money that definitely should have been paid out, no doubt about it, he would have saved himself a lot of grief. But if he did pay, and he's just getting shook down, because he's a celebrity on Twitch, then that's just as fucky. Because if you really want to talk drama, we have Ice Poseidon, who literally, what, the FBI raided his house? Because he was trying to run a fucking Ponzi scheme? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> One of my big things, I don't even know if it's possible, but as we continue this Twitch journey is, like, keeping the privacy... You gotta, sort of like Anthem, don't let yourself get memed. It's tough because you've already put your damn face on the internet, but... Bit like Tropic Thunder, you can't go full retard. Project for his new, uh, all his new alerts and everything. Be done a long ass time ago. He recently got uh, one of them up and running about two weeks ago, and it was fucking really annoying because uh, the sound the alert for it was way too loud, and he didn't know where exactly it was inside of his uh, stream setup to go adjust the sounds for it. So it was like two or three day period where. If you follow anything, it just made a loud ass cell phone in the background. You couldn't do anything about it. But yeah, uh, he, he said himself that, you know, he, he didn't pay the people. But also, the work hasn't been done. So I think, Ashton, that King Richard has a defense in this. He has a side of his argument. Now that's what it's going to be. It's just literally he said, she said, and that isn't going to. No one's gonna get paid in that case. That won't stand up. Especially this guy's Italian, so the way that this would work through the courts is gonna be not at all easy. If even doable, but I th think the question and one of the defenses the artist has is if King Richard wasn't satisfied with the work, and it took too long, etc., etc., why did he use the work?
I don't know, streamers gotta stick together, and I'm, you know, gonna support the streamer in this case, but, and I think that it's just life, a case of fucking life, it, this guy's, you're, the streamer King Richard's been growing and growing and growing, having a really, really nice, steady few months here on Twitch, becoming the top of a big, big game like Apex Legends, and winning some tournaments, and his growth, you know, now he's a name. Fans like you, Ashton, knew him, and then now, you know, regular people like us are saying his name, so. Just some of that. I figure the price of success. Growing pains. He'll get through it. I mean, how many growing pains has Ninja had? The guy hit a massive peak, an unknown zenith in Twitch streaming, and then it was like six months of fighting drama. It's a lot of it of his own making. Yeah, it sucks when you get up to the top, you know, it's only down from there. <laughs> yeah, not easy. Not easy. You gotta definitely, I assume, have a really good idea of what you want out of the platform and your life at that point. Because it's tough. That's, you know, the thing with Borderlands, like, oh, okay, why does it take so long to make three? If you make a masterpiece, really tough to follow that up. And if, like, uh, we talk about Harper Lee with To Kill a Mockingbird, why does she not really publish another book her whole life? And Ghost Set a Watchman was not her best effort. How do you back up a masterpiece? She writes one of the essential pieces of American literature in To Kill a Mockingbird. Pretty tough to follow that up. As you go from making the movie Step Brothers to go making, uh, you know, <laughs> Sherlock and Watson, that's what you do. What happened with that movie? It had all the right ingredients and yet it was fucked. I don't know. I'm thinking that uh, they may have pulled a Tim and Eric and just like completely made a horrible movie just to see how bad they can do. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's possible. That's probably the most optimistic theory you could have. That movie suffered from terrible writing. What, Sherlock and Holmes von Helger? Derek for real says, gotta start small. I had a steady thing going and then took a break. I'm basically back to square one. Which is brutal. Which is brutal. I mean, something we talked about last night, Derek, is I uploaded a video from 2009. I was making content in high school. And in one shape or form or another, I've been doing the same kind of thing I'm doing now for 10 plus years. But it's like trying to make it in Hollywood, or as a musician. You know, your odds are pretty stacked against you. You're walking by faith. Just keep rolling the dice till you hit the, hit the fucking jackpot. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> Until you run out of dice rolls, I guess. The talent. You gotta find your talent. Don't, definitely don't do what I'm doing, though. You know, streaming 45, 50 hours or whatever. That's, especially when you first start, that is so not worth it. You are so much better off making content on other platforms and getting a name out for yourself. And then making your streams like an event. Hey, I'm gonna be streaming Monday, January, whatever, at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come on in, everybody. It's gonna be a short-lived thing. And then people come in, and then, then you start to grow a thing, and then you can become a pretty permanent staple of Twitch, but... Get that YouTube community going, and that Instagram, and all these other social media platforms, or, or your art, however. And the U-Porn. And the U-Porn, if you're into that kind of a thing, and... Then you get a name, then you announce streams, maybe twice or thrice weekly. Only a couple hours. That's growth on Twitch right now, if you're beginning, because throwing your head against the wall in the Twitch Labyrinth, which only exploded. It was massive when I started, and it's since the time period of Ninja, it's only grown a hundredfold. You know, now it's a get-rich-quick scheme. It is brutal. Brutal. But there's also small miracles on Twitch, like Justin, you know? Shit, man. Justin found us. We were a zero-viewer stream. And Justin came in this stream. God knows why, but he did. And he's been a permanent fixture of our community, and... Weird things like that happen on Twitch, and you just get supremely grateful for them. Ashton, yourself, Derek, and Von Hilger, Adam, like, you just, I don't know, people just end up coming along. 
it's sort of inexplicable, at least that's how I look at it. But yeah, that will fill you with gratitude, dude. That's probably the best part about Twitch. And we've had to do a lot of driving. My porn hub is really hurting for content. Let me take a break. Take a uh, uh, what's up? Feet. Just take pictures of feet. People are into that. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> Business. Uh, you have to Von Hilger movie. You have to really go for it, find what works, and roll with it. Yeah, but as I said, I mean it's up to you. But my steadfast opinion anymore is: do not 